Hi everyone, welcome to today's session of Mathematics, myself Amrita. In this session, we will be dealing with chapter 2 of class 4 that is Wheel of Time. Now, when we hear about time, the first thing that comes to our mind will be a clock. Now, here is a clock. Let us see what all things are there in a clock. We have three needles. The thin needle which is always moving represents number of seconds and it is called a second hand. Now, we have a long needle which is minute hand and it represents number of minutes. It takes 60 minutes to complete one rotation and it is a hour. And we have an hour and, and the, the clock rotates twice to complete a day that is 24 hours. And if it rotates once, it is called midday. That is 12 noon is also called midday. Now, according to this concept of midday, we are going to divide this 24 hour clock into 2. That is before midday and after midday. Now, in time chapter, we have two new concepts to study based on this. That is AM and PM. So, let us look at what are AM and PM. AM stands for a Latin word anti-meridium which means before midday and PM stands for past meridium which means after midday that is AM is the time between 12 midnight to 12 noon and PM is the time between 12 noon to 12 midnight and we know that uh, if it is a 12 hour clock we have AM and PM. Now, you will wonder what about 12 o'clock at noon and midnight, whether it is AM or PM. Okay. So, I will tell you 12 noon and 12 midnight is called as 12 noon and 12 midnight only. There is no AM and no PM. So, to avoid this confusion of AM, PM at midnight and noon, we have another type of clock called 24 hour clock. In 24 hour clock, the time is from 1 to 24. Unlike 12 hour clock, the time will not repeat. That is, up to 12 noon, the 24 hour clock and 12 hour clock are the same. But when it is 1 o'clock in the noon, the 12 to 24 hour clock becomes 13 hours. Okay. Now, let us see a video showing a 12 hour clock and a 24 hour clock. See the difference when it is 12 and after 12. Here up till 12, the 12 o'clock and 24 o'clock are the same. Now, after 12, in 12 o'clock, the numbers are repeating up to 1, 2, 3, etc. And here it is 13, 14, etc. up to 24. Yes. So, now, we understood what is the difference between a 12 hour clock and a 24 hour clock. Now, let us see the conversion. A 24 hour clock always starts at 0 hours and 0 minutes. That is at 12 midnight, the 24 hour clock shows 0 hours and 0 minutes. When it is 1 am, it will be 1 hour in the 24 hour clock. And when it is 12 noon, it is 12 hours, etc. If it is 1 pm, it will be 13 hours. And if it is 2 pm, it is 14 hours. If it is 12 midnight, again it is 24 hours or it is again what? The starting of a new day. That is 0 hours and 0 minutes. Yes, yeah. See, 12 midnight. At 12 midnight, 24 hour clock shows 0 hours and 0 minutes. And if it is 12, 5 am, it will be what? 0 hours and 5 minutes only. And if it is 1 am, it will be 1 hour. Railway time or the 24 hour clock time is always told in hours. And at 12 noon, it is 12 hours. And at 12.50 pm, 12.50 hours itself. That is, in 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock, up to 12.59, the time is the same. After 12.59, it comes 1 pm. But in 24 hour clock, it will be 
13 hours. Now let's see, these are the things we have discussed in this session. That is, at 12 midnight in railway time, it will be 0 hours and 0 minutes and from 12 midnight to 12 noon, it is AM and from 12 noon to 12 midnight, it is PM and here you can see the 24 hour clock time also. In respect to 12, we have 0 hours and 0 minutes. When it is 3, it is 3 itself. When it is 6 in 12 hour clock, it is 6 in 24 hour clock. And if it is 3 in the uh, 12 hour clock, it will be what? 15 hours, that is plus 12. If you want to convert a, a 12 hour clock into a railway time or 24 hour clock, we need to add 12. Here, 3 plus 12 is 15, 6 plus 12 is 18, etc. And if it is 12 midnight again it is the starting of a new day. So, the railway time will show 0 hours and 0 minutes. So, these are the things we have discussed. Now, let us see a video and make it thorough. AM and PM and the 24 hour clock. AM and PM are abbreviations that tell us whether the time occurs in the morning or in the afternoon or evening. AM occurs in the morning. It stands for anti-meridium, which means before midday. You can think of it as before noon. PM occurs in the afternoon and evening. It stands for post-meridium, which means after midday. You can think of it as afternoon. In the AM-PM system of time, which is what most people use and what you are used to seeing, a 12-hour clock is used. That means that the morning goes up until 12 o'clock noon. It starts over again with 1 o'clock and goes through 12 o'clock midnight. In contrast, a 24-hour clock does not start over after 12 o'clock noon. The next hour, which we normally think of as 1 o'clock p.m., is 1300, then 1400, etc. Time goes all the way up until 2400 midnight, which can also be called 0 hundred because it is the start of the next day. Let's look at a few examples. What is 7 o'clock p.m. on a 24-hour clock? 7 o'clock p.m. is afternoon, so this is 7 hours past 12 o'clock. We can simply add 12 plus 7 equals 19. Answer, 1900. Note that AM and PM are not used with a 24-hour clock. It is 2110 hours. What time is it on a regular 12-hour clock? It is past noon, so let's subtract 12 hours to see how far past noon it is. 21 minus 12 equals 9, so it is 910. The minutes won't change. It is p.m. because it is afternoon. 
On a 24-hour clock, it is 6.55. What time is it on a 12-hour clock with a.m. p.m.? Since it is less than 12 o'clock, the time will not change. This is before noon, so it is a.m. Answer, 6.55 a.m. What is 12.05 p.m. on a 24-hour clock? 12.05 p.m. is just barely in the afternoon, but we don't need to change the time at all because it hasn't yet started over with 1 o'clock. Answer, 12.05. This makes sense because if we were to subtract 12 hours and get 0.05, this would only be five minutes into the day. That's the time right after midnight, not right after noon. Let's recall what you have learned so far. So I hope this class was very useful and interesting to you. See you in the next video. Thank you.